Hey guys. Oh man, I had a cool, I had a cool dream. And yeah, I'll tell you about it right now. And this is how it goes. So I fall asleep. My uh, kids are yelling at me about something. Grace is yelling at me about something. I'm like, oh, and I just fall asleep because I don't want to hear it. Anyway, it wasn't particularly. It was over a song. We don't like that song. And the song was called The Antichrist. You know when you get an earworm? It's called The Anti... And the song sucks, but you used to listen to it? Well, I heard it on the internet. And I listened to the, the, the live video. And it's called The Antichrist by Slayer. So I listened to it. <sighs> if you're a Christian and you're a Christ, don't listen to a song called The Antichrist by Slayer. Oh man, you'll never hear the end of it. Anyway, it really don't mean anything, but here I go. So I listened to that. They're all yelling at me, and then I fell asleep. I'm totally gone. I don't know what. And I had a dream. I'm going in a dream, and I'm, I'm, I'm washing a car with soap, a sponge, and I'm washing a car. And my boss wants me to wash this car really good. And he's yelling at me, wash the car good, wash it good. And uh, put on the wax stuff. Turtle wax and wipe it off and make it shine. I'm like, all right, I'm doing it. And, I, and I'm working in a used car lot. 50 cars. And I'm washing one really good because he wants to get rid of it or something like that. So I'm washing them, getting all the dirt off, scraping the dirt off. Wash. And I put the wax on. And this is what I did for like an hour and a half in this dream. I hate working in a dream. I like having fun me off. I'm washing and all of a sudden I wake up and I'm like wash the car Rich why you gotta wash the car and I'm thinking why am I washing a fucking car I hate work I hate manual labor for my boss in a dream I hate it I'm washing this goddamn car and I'm like I'm done fuck it and so I'm looking at the car and I'm like ah oh. you know if I'm gonna wash something make it a Corvette right and I'm like where's that Corvette I know there's a Corvette here, and I'm awake, laying in my bed, but I'm still dreaming, okay? I look up, and there's a Corvette. It's an old one. It's an old classic. You know, the one with the curves, like that? I don't know how old, 70s, has the curvies, has that beautiful form to it. I don't know what year it is, but so I run over there. It's, it's electric blue, and I'm like, start washing that one, right? And I'm washing, I'm washing, hey, gee! And all of a sudden, I'm thinking... Jesus. I, I just thinking, oh, God, I'm taking this home, baby, right? And I scream out for Jesus because I'm awake now, consciously in my bed, washing this fucking Corvette. And I was washing this ugly one. And he goes, what? And I go, I got a Corvette in my dream. I'm taking it and I'm giving it to you. But before I do, can you make sure if this is a dream or am I in a... Same illusion, and I'm going to steal somebody's car. Because I've done that before. Stole people's cars and stained the same illusion. But I thought it was my dream. I couldn't really tell. All I was excited about was the car. <laughs> right? And he goes, nope, this is your dream. And I went, okay, here it comes. So I reached underneath the car, and I pick it up. And I'm picking it up, the car, and I give it to Jesus. But he won't take it. I go, take it. And he goes, no. And I go, it's got to go to the illusion room. Because all my cars that I get are in the illusion room. Beside the lobby of the zombie illusion room. Okay? The zombie apocalypse. I'll tell you in a minute. So anyway, he goes, no, you take it. I'm like, I don't even, uh, you know. I'm in my bed in physical reality dreaming. Was dreaming. Now I'm awake. In the dream still. I got a Corvette over top of me. And he wants me to fly across St. Lucian with my soul. Because my soul is in St. Lucian, spirit world. Fly across the city with a fucking Corvette on my head. In the illusion of St. Lucian. And put it in the illusion room. Yeah. So he, he grabs it one side and he's helping me. 
So we're both flying. I'm like, thanks for help. You know, thanks for help. <laughs> I'm like, I can't see where I'm going. And like, what you do is you feel it in your heart. Go to your other, go to your cars. That's what I do. And so we're flying. We get to the cars and we put it down. It was like five minutes. And I'm tired, man, because this thing weighed a lot. Like, I give it weight. I don't have to, but I do when I'm awake in my head. In the dream, you know, you're Superman or whatever. So we get that there. Everybody comes running. Now my buddy, the vice president, he comes running. The vice president of the company, he comes running. He's like, holy shit. And, and now I get in the thing. And we put it down. I get in it. And I turn. I got my hand on the steering wheel. I put my foot on the brake. I start it up. Put it in the reverse. And I look in the rear view mirror. And the brake lights are on. And uh, I find the light switch. I turn the lights on. And the lights go on the front of the car, which I thought was awesome. And I'm like, we're going to go, man. We're ready to go. And then I put it in reverse. And I take my foot off the brake. And I start backing up. And then uh, I put it, I hit the brakes. I put it in drive. And we start going forward. And I just did that a little bit. Because I don't know how much room is in this room to drive around in, right? Because it's actually a room full of vintage Vintage cars, like the hottest things you've ever seen. Anyway, I didn't want to smash it. So I just went forward a little bit, went reverse a little bit. Um, then I shut the keys off, turned the keys off, and got out. And the, the seats are black, like black leather, man. It's beautiful, beautiful. And the car is electric blue, that that electric. Not, not a bright electric, the darker electric blue. Just beautiful, man perfect pink job and i'm like damn and everybody's like holy fuck i did it i got it from a dream <laughs> so after that they were all checking it out he's doing his now christ comes the vice president comes and what he does is he takes things like this or when you create something he'll take it and then you spray this stuff on the vehicle and it makes it solid so he's immediately spraying it down going over it, making sure everything's in working order or whatnot, the best he can do, because he's, he's running the show there, right? And uh, I don't know what the show is this, but I don't want to get into it too long. So I created, okay, you know how kids go out and play paintball in an old warehouse? Somebody somebody makes, buys an old warehouse the way they don't want. They fill it full of cool things. And kids play uh, laser tag or they play paintball. Well, that's what this place is like. But it's a full city. Two rooms. Two huge rooms. Okay. It's like, I don't know. I'll, I'm about to. Like 10 blocks in a city. 10 blocks going one way and 10 blocks wide. And it's full of zombie apocalypse. Inside that, you're going to have your zombies and you're going to have raiders. Raiders are from the uh, Fallout, Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. They're in there. They got machine guns. And everything okay now you go in there with your machine gun and you take over the place and you try to survive and you go through your fears and it's all i do all kinds of scary shit it's scary literally <laughs> oh my god it's scary <laughs> i won't even go in there like he makes it night mode he turns the lights off at the sun off click it is midnight foggy and midnight he goes, go on, Rich, go on. I was like, hell no. <laughs> I fucking good guy. Oh, my heart. I love it. I love making it. Now, what we needed was, um, so I, I, here I am in the illusion room. And I was thinking, fuck, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go, I go, Jesus, I'm going to go back to that parking lot and see if there's any other cool cars there. So I go back, I zoom back, I was, I didn't, I didn't leave that spot. I'm still in the parking lot where my cars are in that room. 
So I go into myself, and I, I, I can still see the, the dream down there. So I go down, it's a room. And it's a used car parking lot. So here I am in the parking lot. I see the pail of water, the sponges and everything. All of a sudden I look beside the Corvette where the Corvette was. The Corvette's not there anymore. I took it. And there's another Corvette, a silver one. It's silver. This one was the later ones. The years they look like crap. Um, it has sort of like, it has a cool front end. It goes up, comes down, and it's just blunt at the end. You know? I still like them. I don't care. But they're not, they're not, they're not like the older ones. It's like the 80s, 90s, or something like that. But it's Corvette, and I like it. So, I go, I got a Corvette! So I break, I grab it, I bring it up, and I give it to the vice president or whatever. He takes it, puts it down. We get in it, and we test it, go backwards and forwards, make sure the lights work and everything. And he's freaking, he's crying. He's crying. <laughs> All the kids are screaming, how does he do that? How does he do that? And he goes, what? And then the Christ that's taking care of me, he's asking me, where did you go? What did you do? How would you do it? What's going on in there? So they want to know what's in my head. And I go, I think this is a room in my subconscious. My subconscious created this room. And he goes, really? And I go, holy shit. Hold on a minute. And I'm thinking, there's like, Ten more cars sitting down there. And I go, hey. He goes, what? I go, there's ten more cars down there. And the vice president says, are they the classic? And I go, no, they're old junkers. There's a mid-size pickup trucks. Little, there's a, I see neons. There's three neons down there, like little crappy neons. And I go, there's some um, old minivans, 80s minivans. And he goes, well, go get them. We need them. And I go, and Holy shit, you're right. So I went down there. I grabbed the neon. I picked up the neon, gave it to Christ. Picked up three of them, gave them to Christ. I then went to the pickup trucks. I got two pickup trucks, the little the little tiny ones. Picked them up and gave them to Christ. Picked them up. Then I got three minivans, the kind that were not like today, in the 2020s, but, or the, 2019s or 28 this is like 2000 year year 2000 minivan they kind of go like this they're real short those ones i got four of those and then i went to get another one and as soon as i got into it i grabbed the steering wheel opened up the door i grabbed the steering wheel the steering wheel broke and i grabbed the shifter and it broke it's in my hand i go i think that's all i can get they weren't manifest enough. It was just this one area where they were enough manifest. And I go, I get, I go, I broke. The car broke when I touched it. And he goes, it's not ready yet. Your subconscious hasn't made them yet. And I go, okay, that sounds good. Whatever. And uh, then I went back to get the original one I was working on. So I went back to the original one I was working on, and it was really weird. But I need them, right? I'm like, I need these cars. And so it was really weird. It was like I opened it up and the seats were all soft and, you know, like a rich person's car. And I go, I think it's some kind of weird ass luxury car. I've never seen one like it. And he goes, well, send it up. Whatever it is, we can use it. And so I bring it up to him. And he don't put this in my garage with all my vintage cars. He puts them in... The illusion room, illusion of the illusion room, so we can use them in the zombie room. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So he takes it, I bring it up, and he goes, "It's a." He goes, "Oh!" He starts crying. He's freaking out. He's going, he he tells me it's a something such 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 a car, and I go, "What? What is that?" And he goes, well, "They make them in Saint Lucian. This is a spirit world car." They don't. You don't have it in your world. It's only made in Saint Lucian, at this factory or something. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> we'll use it for parts, so we'll smash it and put it. In the, well, we'll smash it. We'll rust it and whatever. And we'll put it in the illusion room. He goes, we can sell it. <laughs> so they asked me how much do these cars go for in in uh, my world, and I said, well, the neon, 
<laughs> the parts are more than worth the car's worth. <laughs> and I go to pick up the same thing. They're useless. They're useless. And the minivan, you know, a thousand dollars, something like that. Just cheap, cheap old cars. And he goes, okay. And then he goes, how much the Corvettes go for? I go, I don't know. I'm going to check. So I have to check yet on the internet to see how much they're going for. But I'm keeping them. As far as I'm concerned, I'm keeping them. Because I like them cars. And uh, anyway, they're fit, like the one is classical car. It's classic. And uh, so, I don't know if they both are or not. So anyway, he goes, what the hell are you doing with all these cars? Like the Christ that's taking care of me. He goes, what the fuck? What are you doing with all these cars? And I go, well, yesterday, I, and I'm telling everybody, I'm going, yesterday. I came to the illusion room and it's been like two weeks because they had to do renovations and stuff. He goes, I got a surprise for you when you come here tonight. So I usually go over there around six o'clock. My time here, awake. I'll sit down at the computer and meditate and I'll zoom over to the lobby and he'll tell me shit. And then I'll go down in the illusion room and I'll work on creating the rest of the city. This is the apocalypse city. And so what I did last night was I put weeds on the roads. That's all I did. It took me two hours to put weeds on the roads. I don't, you know, like some junk and stuff. And so that's what I did. And he goes, well, he goes, you got to get working on this because we got a lot of things to do yet. And uh, I want to get it going. I want this done by next Christmas. And I'm like, all right, no problem. And he, I go, how many vehicles do I got to make? And he goes, you got about 60 to 90 vehicles you got to make. And I'm like, oh, and now what I do is I'll sit here on the computer and look at car pictures. I'll reach out, my soul will reach out, look at the car, and I'll create the car in the illusion room, in the illusion of the illusion room. What that is, is you're, on, you're like, you're in this world, and then you meditate, and you can float like you're astral traveling, and you can do whatever you want. That's called the illusion of Saint Illusion, the illusion of the illusion room, or the illusion, okay? I know it gets fucked up, and it's crazy, but hear me out, follow me here. So I'm in the illusion, and I create that car, but I make it this big, and he goes, he goes, that's a nice car, I go, yeah, and I go, he goes, we'll make it real life-size, and I tell myself, life-size, when I, I take my hands, and I go, and I make it life size because you can do that in the illusion. Then I'll put it, I'll sit it down in the illusion on a fake road. I'll open the door and I'll get in it and I'll try starting it and everything works fine. And then I'll put the rust on it and I'll put the dust on it so you can't see through the windows. I'll put the smash. If it's a car wreck, I'll smash the car up like where it was wrecked. I'll stick another car inside of it, smash the glass, put, and then I put leaves on it. I put some sticks in it, in the, some sticks, some leaves, smash. And now if I was putting zombies in it, I put a zombie in there with his head through the windshield. I would, I would put, you know, all that good stuff. But I'm not allowed to do that at this point because people come and see what I'm creating and they get really freaked out. At blood, blood and guts and gore, so I can't do that. So they don't want no, they don't want nobody seeing dead bodies, okay? While I'm creating it, I can do all that after. So they, they close it down to the public, then I can go in there and do it. But right now, there's like a hundred people watching me create this shit, and they're all kids, kids and stuff. So I'm not allowed to put the gore in there. Now usually I'd be doing this down. In the apocalyptic world, putting it next to the building, putting it next where it's all cool, these cars, right? But I can't do that because it's too, too, uh, smash up cars in a scary world. People kind of freak out on it. So I, I make them in the illusion. It's a lot easier. And I got a highway and the highway is both lanes are one way out of the city. Wall to wall cars smashed sitting there all the way to the other side on this four lane highway it's all smashed cars that's one little aspect of the illusion of the apocalyptic world i'm working on 
and I made 20 cars, uh, three trucks just to take up space, buses, cars, campers, um, the big VW or whatever, the big giant long campers, all that stuff, burnt cars. I got, there's a place in down, down in the city, in, down in the main city, where there's a building that was on fire. The fire trucks are burnt, all from photographs on the internet. Everything is from photographs on the internet, so I can get all the perfect detail. So I'll go on Google, I'll search burnt fire trucks. Five pages of burnt fire trucks. I take one out, create it, color, everything, stick it in the illusion room. And that's what I do. But this time, I needed 60 to 90 vehicles. Yesterday, I was thinking about it. I'm in the illusion room. Christ says, you got to make 60 to 90 vehicles to fill up space in this illusion room that I'm creating. He goes, I'm like, oh. And after about the fourth car, after about the fourth car, you're sick and tired of it. You don't even want to do it anymore. Because they're just vehicles sitting there in the illusion. But I got to create them. Inside and out. Detail, carpeting. Upholstery, the fucking little gears, the speedometer, miles an hour, lights, brake lights, windshield wiper, all that stuff. Boom, I gotta create it. And then there's people helping me, so I'll build a house. Christ will come in, make it solid with the spray stuff. Then I get a bunch of people that are practicing on creating things. They'll come in, and I and basically I said, look, I ain't got the time to fill the house full of household crap. So Make this your house. Make this your house. And what would you have in your house? Books, tables, chairs, coffee, pots and pans, dishes, whatever. All the items that go in a house. Fill this house full of junk. And we do it appropriately. Now, if there's zombies walking around in the house, I say, stack up the pile of books, spray them, and then knock them over. Just smash everything. Because there's zombies in this room. And I know it. Because that's why I made this room. So. So smash everything. And so they do. But some houses are pristine. That so you can get like a safe house. You go into. No one's been in there. And it's pristine. So. But a family was living there. They're not there now. But. It's a zombie apocalypse. Right? They're all zombies. While outside walking around. But you get in the house. And it's pretty much pristine. So I go. Make this house. Everything like your house. With all the stuff in it. Cover it in dust. And I'll leave it. <laughs> and then they do. I, there's in St. Lucian, there's, hun there's hundreds of people. They come in and they help me make these houses. Anyway, besides the point. So, I make the car. And I realized right then, or earlier, that my subconscious gave me a used car parking lot in a room in myself. Where I can go down inside myself in my subconscious to the used cars. Grab the used cars, give them to Christ, put them in the illusion room. I don't have to create nothing. My subconscious is already creating them from memory. All those cars that I gave Christ, I drove them. I drove all those cars. So my subconscious knows them how they work. The only thing he don't know is how the engines and pipes and electricity work. But to see it, he knows what it looks like in detail. He knows it. I never drove the Corvettes, though. That's something I need to figure out why. But anyway, who cares? They work. They look good. They are great. Right on, man. I've never driven a Corvette in my life. I drove a Neon and a pickup truck and uh, minivans. And I got all those, five of each. And we're going to place them throughout the illusion room. Now, before, and that's why I had that dream. And I was so happy with myself that I don't have to make, I can get, I can get 10 cars a day going inside my subconscious, giving them to Christ. And I don't got to sit there on the internet and look at the dials and everything and, you know, the lift up the thing and lift down and change the mirror and do all that. Because what you do is you pretend you're in a car in your dream. Just meditate, pretend you're in a car. Well, what do you do in a car? You check the mirrors, you check the lights, you check the brake lights, you, you push on the gas, you push on the brake, you sit there, you turn the key, okay? You just created right there. 
Now get out of the car, pick it up, and give it to Christ. That's all you got to do. With anything. And that's what I was doing down there washing the cars. I was down there washing the cars. And the, and the dream was like, you're washing, well, we'll make Rich wash the cars. And he'll get it. He'll see it. What's he going to do? The first thing he does when he goes to, when he gets a Corvette, he gets Christ and he takes the car and puts it in the illusion room in St. Illusion. Right? Oh, yeah. So we'll give him a dream where he's washing a car. He'll look around and see the Corvette. He'll want to take it. But we'll fill the, we'll fill the, and it goes right to the illusion room, which is right next to the zombie room. And what's he need in the zombie room? Vehicles for the zombie room. Boom! I got a fucking endless supply of cars coming out of my fucking head. But they're all like really, really minute. But as I bring them up, they become an actual real car. You can give it to Christ. He puts it down, sprays it, gets in it, puts it in the same illusion. $500 for you to buy it. And it works perfectly. Don't ask me, man. That's how it's done. Now, he called me over there yesterday. Listen, <laughs> I can blow your mind, man. Any of you play Fallout 3 or Fallout 4, you know when you get, you're, you're trying, you got, you got these old crappy guns from the Raiders, right? And you're, you start off with... And you slowly go out and you see your first laser gun. You want to go over there and shoot the guy, but he's too powerful. You can't get his gun, so you sit there and hope the animal kills him or something. So you, you can run over there and get his gun. Well, that's what I do anyway, to get your first gun. So, <laughs> the video game. So, I run. He goes, I got something to show you. I just got it done. And last year, I gave him the schematics. To make an iBot, an iBot, and a laser, laser rifle. I gave him the pictures off the internet. And I gave him the pictures. And I made, I created the iBot last year. I mean, he has to figure out, because I don't know. It hovers. Perfect. It never stopped hovering. The first day it hovered. Uh, five feet off the ground. So, I, I made the iBot. It's huge it's like this big and all the little things that come off it he uh so he makes it work now he makes it track throughout the city and it's gonna play music he puts speakers in it it plays music he put a laser gun in it it shoots lasers at the back if you shoot the ibot it turns around busts its ass over to you and shoots you that's what it does it's got a laser gun in it. and uh Basically, he plays music, plays a uh, classic rock and stuff like that. So, in the, in the illusion room where I am creating, okay, it's fucking awesome, man, it's awesome. <laughs> then he goes, "Come over here." So he comes out. He goes here, and he hands me he hands me the laser rifle. And he goes, "There ain't no energy in it, or uh, there ain't no ammo in it, so you can look at it." And I'm looking at it. It looks just like the real gun in Fallout. Man, even the old cracks in the paint and everything. Anyway, I'm checking it out, right? Pull the trigger, and it's square. It's a rifle. It's a rifle. And uh, I go, does it work? And he goes, yep. And I go, if we, I go, how, how much energy is it? What? And I can see. Also, I told him I could see the inside. And what he had to do was get a laser and put it on the inside, ramp it up to where it actually kills somebody where it can kill somebody in the illusion room and he goes i got a patent on it he goes i got a patent on it i created it i got a patent on it so if they want and he goes there's people interested in it like military people police stuff like that and he goes there's different settings on it there's passive stun you ouch and will go right through you like it'll burn a hole right through your a thorough skin, the soul. Because they're all people in St. Lucian, they're souls. So if you shoot this thing off full, 
it'll fucking pour a hole, burn a hole right through your skin. And I go, how, mu how much power is in this battery? And he goes, 20,000 volts. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, 20,000? And I go, yeah, I can get more. But I go, how many rounds do you get out of this? And he goes, you get 36 rounds, roughly, from each battery. And it's just like a battery. Just like from the video game. Uh, he goes, it's full auto. He goes, it's full auto. The laser gun is full auto and single shot. No in between. And I go, holy shit. And so I got to say, and I'm like, it is right off the video game. Exactly like the video game. And, he, and I, I I just imagined in my head, like, we never got to fire it. He wouldn't let me fire it. Because there's kids around. And everybody's looking at it. And so, but he was telling me, I go, did you get different colors? And he goes, yeah, I get red, green, and blue. And I go, well, this is red. And he goes, yeah. And I go, do you get this it got sound like in the video game? He goes, that's one thing I ain't got yet. I don't know. I, we didn't make the sound for it yet. And I go, well, I got the sound for you. And he goes, what are you talking about? And he goes, I go, I got the sound for you. It goes, it sounds like a snare drum. And then it goes, barrel, barrel, barrel. Like that. And it has that wow sound to it. And so what I did was I went on to follow up for, I Googled or YouTube, follow up for laser rifle sound. And other videos came up. So I put it on Facebook and they got my link to me on Facebook. So I go, I just linked these videos to you. Now you got the sound. Now make that sound of the game. And he goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he's at home and he gets the sound. I go, basically, it sounds like a snare drum with a with a wah pedal. Like, that type of thing. So it's like a snare drum and another drum from a bass, a, a hit from a bass. They go, wow, on the wah pedal. I go, make that sound, whatever you do. I don't know. But I don't know. And so I gave him the sound I want. And he, he's crying. <laughs> I'm crying because I'm all my fucking fantasy in my hand. I created it. I gave it to him to make it work. And he did. God damn, he did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this this room. Now, the first room doesn't have nothing. It's just raiders, zombies, contemporary guns. But the second room is going to have raiders, new zombies, new monsters. Um, starting with the laser. And we're going to have one laser gun. The raiders are going to have it. And the iBot's flying around. So we're going to keep that there. And the iBot has a laser on it too. So that. So basically what he does is he takes off the, the back part of the laser gun, the rifle. Sticks it underneath the iBot. And, and off the iBot goes. Down the street. Around the losing room. Over and over. Playing music from the guy in the building over there. That's got a pirate radio station. And he's playing music. The iBot's picking it up, broadcasting it. But if you shoot the iBot, it flies over there and shoots your ass. <laughs> so no one shoots it, right? Unless you want to, and then you can. I don't care. But anyway, and I don't think the iBot, you could really hit it with something like, put a full clip in it before it goes down, because it's totally solid armor, right? And uh, even then, Chris just presses the button. Reboot. iBot reboot. <laughs> Go <laughs> everything, the, all the AIs, all the characters in the game are all AIs. So you and your team, you gotta say you got a four guy team, and you got you got one guy's got rifles, two guys got rifles, one guy's got a shotgun, one guy, and you all got handguns and knives. You and you're all set up with gear. You gotta go in there and survive, right? And you and in the middle of the night. And it's full of fucking surprises. You go underground in the subway. You go through the sewers. You go in the basements of other buildings. Oh, man, it's scary as shit. And I got a police station, great big police station. You go down to the police station in the basements, pitch black. The raiders don't even go down there. <laughs> Oh, like I, I won't go down. I don't, I'm too scared. I'm like, give me a gun and I'll go, but I ain't going down there. And somebody come with me, I'll go down, but not by myself. Oh, it's real. It's fucking real. 
Holy shit. And then you get shot by a gun, like an AK-47 from the Raiders. You get shot by it. And they stop the game. They send out the ambulance, which is either a 4 by 4 ambulance or a, some kind of fast Jeep side-by-side -side ambulance. They pick your ass up, they throw you in the bed, and they haul you back to the, and you go to the hospital. Well, this we got a, a doctor. He's an old guy, old miserable guy. He's like the guy on Jaws. You know the old guy on Jaws? The mayor in the eyes, Dirk in the eyes. That guy on Jaws, the original movie? Is he, <laughs> that's our doctor. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got shot in the head, son of a bitch. That looks bad. <laughs> you know, he just grabs a staple gun. <laughs> Take two of these. Get the fuck out. <laughs> that's our doctor. <laughs> This is fucking priceless, man. I love it. I'm in there. I get hurt. I'm laying there, and he's pulling this shrapnel out of me or whatever. Because I'll be making, I'll be making stuff. I can't see totally. I'll be walking down the street, and I'll run into a sign, and a piece of the sign will be sticking out. And it'll hit me, and in in it'll rip my skin in the pain. It's so bad. And they haul my ass to the doctor, and he's like, ah, shut up. <laughs> you act like you've never been shot before. Oh my god! It gets hitting your nerve. The plat, the, the, your blood, your thorough blood is hitting your nerve and your jaw. Like that's how close to this to reality it is. Oh, that fucking hurts. The blood plasma or whatever it is, the goop in your skins, your thorough skin. So when you get shot by this laser, <laughs> it's gonna put a fucking hole right through you. <laughs> Oh man, I can't stand it. It's gonna be good. So anyway, I my next job, he goes, he goes, oh yeah, about that Gatling laser. He goes, <laughs> I'm gonna start working on that now. I made a Gatling laser. There's two types of Gatling lasers in the game, so I'm gonna start working on that Gatling laser, like like a Gatling gun, but a laser, but it's laser, right? And uh, um. What am I going to have to do then? <laughs> I was crying. I was so happy to hold that damn thing in my hands. Anyway. That's going on. Um, and basically, that's it. I got a, I got a used car lot to get the cars and put them in the illusion room. And maybe I go... Maybe I use that showcase inside the inside the, the used car lot building. There's a showcase in there with vintage cars, like really expensive cars, like race cars. So maybe I can maybe I can I'm gonna go on the internet and look at all these different types of cars. Go through the car really good. My subconscious is recording them, sticking them in there. I lay down and meditate. Go down there and pick them up. Give them to Christ. Right? Beautiful, man. Because I got to fill. I got a half a city. To, I got 10 blocks or more of a city with no cars in it. Well, I got cars, but just like the cars that I made were like car accidents with the zombies hanging out the window and his head's hanging out. You know, shit like that. Special spots in the city. But I need filler. Now I'm doing the filler. I gotta put random cars sitting around, weeds and trees overgrown, stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing currently in the illusion room. But I just thought I'd tell you about my experience that I had a problem yesterday. I need lots of cars and I don't wanna make them. I went to sleep today and I was dreaming of washing cars in a used parking lot. Eventually, because of the Corvette, I realized I got a whole parking lot of cars here. And they're all mine. And I just started handing them up to Christ as filler for the illusion room. Unbelievable, guys. So your subconscious, man. You can make guns in your subconscious. You can make the cure to cancer. Whatever. It goes on and on and on. But everything you see around you right now is being recorded in your subconscious somewhere you think about i need that in my subconscious so you lay down in meditation you're walking down the street 
I need some cups for the building or whatever. You walk in the store, you see the cups, you pick them up, take them out, wake up, go back home in the same illusion, new set of cups. You didn't even have to make it. The hard part that's harder is actually creating it from your from your soul, from your mind and everything. But you can go into your subconscious and get everything you want because you've seen it all down here. And that's how they get everything down here up there from you. You just got to know how to do it. You got to be aware that you can do it, then know how to do it, and do it. <laughs> that's, that's fucking simple, man. Awesome. And I create the, a the AIs. I create the zombies. Each one different. I create the raiders. Each one different. Raiders are like the guys on Mad Max. The crazy fuckers on Mad Max. Them guys. Yeah, they're all fucking guns on leather. and Got some gore and eyeballs. hanging like, Awesome stuff. You got to go in there and fight them all. <laughs> I paid 200 bucks to go in there and fight them all. <laughs> so, lots of good stuff. I just wanted to put this video out to, sh to show you that, you know, I got a whole used car parking lot full of cars waiting to be looted in my subconscious, which is a room. I look at it, I look down at it now, and it's about this big. But when my mind goes down in the room, I'm standing just like in real life. And that is a different room that's in myself. That's not saying illusion. Or the illusion. You come out of that. And then you're in insane illusion and delusion. And this reality. There you go.